Hey guys, Batman Chepe here. I'm gonna show you how to upload the cool and nice looking Jack X ROM. I like it. it's really smooth and everything. I like it so much. Seriously, guys, it's like half of a G1 and like some of a like hero. I like it. It's nice. And then the background. You could also change it like this. No, do it. See? Watch. I'll go to the web. And it goes super smooth, guys. Look at that. It's already loading. It's already there. Super nice. You could also turn it like that, too. I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to upload this ROM. I like it so much. I'm, I'm going to teach you guys, alright? So what you got to do is already connect it, connect it to your computer. Hold on guys, one hand, you know? Okay, you, and then you mount it. Super easy, okay, it's mounted, right? Okay, once into your computer, open the file, and then I already have it already in there installed. But if you don't, you should always download it. I'll put it in the link description, so we'll just have to follow this. And usually, I just have it on the desktop, base, best place to get it at. And it's right here. I usually just look it up, and it's Jack X. And there you go, it's right here. I'm gonna put it in. And there you go. It's in there. It takes a little while. See, so there you go. 30 seconds, 25. It's super fast. So, it doesn't take that much time, guys. <clears throat> Once that's done, you rename it to update. And hold on, five seconds, ten, and it's done. Okay, what you'll have to do is just rename update like that. If it's a Mac, put update dot zip. But since it's a it's a Windows, I just leave it update, and that'll be two. Then since I already have two, I can't put it, so I'll just have to put no, and I have to delete that file the same file don't worry guys just okay once that's done close that window go to computer right there left click it oh. left click it and put safely remove that's just making it safe so none of your programs will be lost once that's done you close that up you disconnect the USB and get your phone, you turn it on. Okay, once that's on, it says preparing SD card. Once that's done, turn it off properly. Turn that off. And then you put phone off, and then it says okay, or shut off, whatever. So that's good. Okay, what you gotta do is press home and the end button at the same time. As you do that, just hold it for a few seconds and it'll vibrate. Some people just like to be safe about it, keep it hold, held until um it recovers. But I just press both of them, let it go. Same thing. Put on wait. Simple instructions. Just wait. Okay, there you go. That's my. I use the R Dream version 1.2. 2.2 there's a there's people that could teach you how to do that it's really good you could use that and it, you could do so many things on this recovery okay what you want to do is all I don't know if you could see that all it's alt W to wipe your phone so you press that and they'll say um this will erase your data press the green key to confirm whatever blah 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 and I want to confirm so does that and it says formatting catch data wipe complete after that you go to alt s or I just press it and it says 
Installing new image, press green key to confirm, any other key to abort. And then it just says installing, whatever, finding update, opening update package, verifying an update. Okay guys, it's going to take a little while. Get back to you as soon as possible. So, yeah.